now you understood about the dynamic classes and all those things now we will try to understand about the style binding still uh, for example classes one apply jesamu so here what we need to do now we need to apply the styles for example you will get a scenario in such a way that i want to apply inline styles for a by dynamically for an element also then also the same thing for example let's say that i want to apply when this one is click so this active class is there right so this active class instead of having red so by default it is red okay and this active class whenever it is changing i want to change it to green color or something like this okay so here instead of having true or false this active class is holding the color value okay color code value now i cannot apply this one as a class binding for this one so i cannot say that uh, class something like apply the active class means it will try to apply red green like this for example let's say that i want to apply active okay so let's try to remove this active so background red color this value is coming from the javascript dynamically not from the class value so when whenever i want to apply the class so here i can use the colon we need to use a colon active when active class is there okay always it will be trying to apply see try to see here i will try to click on this one it will not do anything why because red and green is there right for this one always it will be trying to apply now for example for this scenario so what i am trying to tell you is now this active class so this one is having a style value actually it is having color value not the uh, i can say is active color value we are having so here also you can change it to active color value so this one will try to remove this uh, computer thing will try to change it and here this dot active color value is equal to green we are having the color value so what i need to do so here somehow i need to apply in a such a way that instead of using the class i need to apply style background color okay i can use something like background color and we need to apply either red or green that variable name that is nothing but active color variable active color value so this is the variable i need to apply it so here for applying this one what we need to do is so it's the same situation so you can use a colon here and you can use an object like this okay and i can remove this c we need to use a capital like this if you want to use comma color like this means we need to use the single course it should be wrapped within a single course or otherwise so you we for every hyphen we need to make this the after letter capital so we can also use it like this so now what i am trying to do active color value first time by default it is in red color when i am clicking it will be converted into a green color and this red color should be in the string it is not a value right so it will it is a string value now if i try to see here let's try to observe it what happened yeah so first first time it is in red color right now if i try to click on this one <laughs> it can immediately convert into green color now if you see in the inspect element see the style this style they we can also dynamically bind this style value also we try to observe background color green it has been came now if i try to click again always it will be green only why because we have applied always this green color only in the same scenario you can also send the dynamic classes also here we should not send this one we should send the background color background color as this dot active color so this is the object style object which i want to do it so i can directly copy this one and here i can directly use this value so then also we can use it now if you try to see the output so first time it is in red color if i try to click here again this will be converted to green color or otherwise if you want something like changes means we can also change it to yellow we'll see that whether it is coming from computed or not now if you try to see here first time it is red if i click here yellow color it is changing now this time it is coming from the computed property i am trying to change it through computer property here whatever the class is there i just i am appending that variable name itself there is no need to write all the conditions the same thing the array object notation also so here you can write something like if active color is value uh, something like that if it is there means then apply background color so like this we can use it so background color background color sorry background color to red like this we can apply it. the active color value is there means so for example if i change it to pink or something like this so always it will be pink only see gone white is gone what i have used it here so i have used this one background color active color value is there means then always okay here i need to use colon also right or otherwise it should be empty 
if you are having multiple conditions then you can use it like this what happened to this one yeah now it is pink color so always it will be in pink color why because this active color value is always there right if it is is equal is equal to red is there then we can use it pink or otherwise i can use it something like gold color or anything condition i am trying to show you the condition here we can have a true or false but here at the logic side we have used red or yellow right so that is the reason i am using now first time it will be red color so that is the reason it is showing pink then afterwards add to color value will be changed to yellow or green or something like that right so it will be changed to some value yellow color so that means the condition is not matching it will execute this gold color here we will try to give purple or otherwise let's see first it is clean so now if i click here see it changed to purple color why it is changed to purple color is so here we have used the array condition like this so it's the same situation the same scenario how the class binding is there we can also use it a array notation object notation or a single value notation also we can give it or otherwise through the computer properties watcher properties how we have achieved it previously earlier we can also achieve it through like this also simple thing so if you understand the class style binding is also one and the same only but here we are trying to apply the styles instead of applying the class names so whichever is feasible for you you can do it so these are nothing but the dynamic binding of the class and styles so normally we will try to use more often in our projects we will be using object notation so which we can have very easily and also the array notation also we will try to use it we will not use the single type which i have shown you earlier so we will not use it like that so we will be using object notation array notation whichever is feasible for us so we will be using like that so this is all about the class and the style binding so dynamically binding the classes and the styles in the vue.js through the javascript variables so here we have used it right so like this we need to use it